is Simon King. How many people hate your job? The rest of you fuck off. Listen, if you're not, oh, we just read the Bible and pet kittens all day. Listen, if you, if you like your job, this is not for you. But if you hate your job, listen closely, stop going. And that's easy to say, but you don't have that much time. You have about 40 years where you're not shitting or drooling uncontrollably, all right? Because the first 20 years, you're like, I don't know what I want to be. And the last 20 years, you're like, I'm a potato. So that, <laughs> that time in the middle is the good stuff. Don't give up your life for pieces of paper with numbers on it, okay? Every dollar you earn should have a picture on it of what you had to do to earn it so you value your time more, all right? Every $20 bill should be you standing at a jam photocopier or sitting in traffic or jerking off hobos under a bridge. Every paycheck... <laughs> Every paycheck should have how many hours you have left on Earth till the natural termination of the life of a human being. So instead of waiting to 65 to retire, you retire at 45, go live on a beach in Thailand and smoke a block of hash the size of a nine-year-old. That's what you should be doing with your time. That's what you should be doing. Because let me tell you this. Every empire has slaves, ours just make a decent wage. They don't care about you. When you're a kid, they tell you you can be anything you want. You could be an actor, you could be a president, you could be a race car driver, but they never tell you about the bad shit. They never tell you about the crushing student debt and the fear and the uncertainty. It's false advertising. It's like how you never see any crying in a beer commercial, you know? Every beer commercial is like, beer's awesome! It's never some guy behind a dumpster going, Corona! So we believe it. <laughs> so we believe it. So when we're young, when you're six years old, you put on a cardboard box and go, I want to be an astronaut! I want to be an astronaut! You run around, you bang your head off shit. I want to be an astronaut! You're going to be an astronaut! And when you're 16, they go, you don't have the math to be an astronaut. And you go, fuck. I want to be a rock star. I'm going to get a guitar. I'm going to Hendrix this. I'm going to be a rock star. I'm your 20. They go, you don't have the looks to be a rock star. And you go, crap. I'm going to get a good job. By the time you're in your 30s, you're like, I want a barbecue. Because they steal. <laughs> they steal from you every day, and it's not okay. All right? You know that feeling in your chest you get where you don't feel right, and you don't know why, and it lasts for a week or two weeks, and you go see a doctor, and the doctor goes, you're sick. You need lorazepam and Effexor and Zoloft and Paxi. You're not sick. You're normal. Because this is wrong. This is all wrong. You shouldn't have to put up with this. When that woman comes into your work, goes, this latte's on 112 degrees, supposed to be under 13, like I get what I want, it's really weird. You have to apologize to her and remake. You should be able to throw shit at her and climb a vine and swing off, but you can't. You can't. Because Timmy needs braces. And everyone in here should be allowed to throw shit at one asshole once a year, no questions asked. Yeah! You want to fix the world? That's how you do it. No one will cut in front of line in front of anybody ever again because it's only July. What if they haven't thrown shit at anybody yet, you know? <laughs> Old people will get respect because they got a turd hand grenade strapped to their leg. So you can listen to Grandpa's story about how he got that chicken salad sandwich half price. <laughs> Admittedly, New Year's Eve is going to be a bit of a shit show. But other than that, <laughs> I don't know when the flag of surrender went from being white on a pole to a pair of khakis hanging out the window of a minivan with those fucking stickers on the back to tell you how many people are on board. What happened to us? <laughs> I don't know where it went. And listen... <laughs> I know you're like, thank God the white straight male living in Canada is here to tell us about the troubles in the world. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know by being in this room, we're the 1% of people on the planet that has shit. You live in a great country. You know how you know that? You're not on fire right now. I don't know. <laughs> like, they have a legitimate problem. I couldn't imagine, I was asked to do shows in Africa. How am I gonna sell my self-righteous, indignant white guy rage in Africa? How am I even going to do stand-up comedy in Africa? Hey, how's everyone doing tonight? My brother was eaten by a leopard. <laughs> My feet hurt every day, but please tell us of your problems, fat man. Like, I understand it. I'm going to tell you this. They have a thing in Africa called the African dick worm. I'm going to repeat that, because when I said it, every guy's mind went blank, and they just heard, ah! What it is, is this parasite that goes in your foot, hangs around one day, probably at a dinner party with your boss, comes out of your wang. Yeah! Look, I don't care how bad you think your day was, I don't care if your car broke down and someone jammed your stapler, unless you have an African dick worm, you can never say screw my life ever again. It's a freaking dick worm, okay? Next time your friend's like, this iPhone's a piece of crap, just knock it aside and go, dick worm, and run away. So there ain't shit you can say to dick worm. Hey boss, I got a call in sick. Let me guess, you got the flu? I got a dick worm. Never come in again ever. Why are we talking? <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with this. We live in a planet where people are begging for money on YouTube. They're going on YouTube and go, if you guys could PayPal me a dollar, sell the camera, moron. What's next, a homeless guy with a sign that says, follow me on Twitter? Is that what's next, really? I don't even know what a homeless guy's Twitter would be. It'd be like, drugs, drugs, hashtag hash. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and I know the only difference between me and a crazy guy is this microphone. You take the mic out of my hand, you put me on any downtown street, I'm just a guy walking around going, pretty girl falls over, throw shit at people, dick. You give me a microphone, it's an entertainment option. My name's Simon King. Good night.